sunken ruins of ancient cities, monuments of lost civilizations may reappear before our eyes thanks to new technologies of augmented reality. Let's get to the bottom of how this works. 2,000 years ago, this now flooded coastal area near Naples was a fashionable Roman resort, Baia. Today you have to dive to see the remains of the luxurious villas, and soon, to make your diving experience even better, you could take your tablet along. Thanks to this system, divers can know their position underwater, which normally is impossible as GPS signals don't work under the surface. The tablet, safely carried in a waterproof case, picks up acoustic signals from underwater beacons. This helps a special app to precisely position itself on a map, guiding the diver to the most interesting underwater sites. Like this fabulous floor mosaic from a submerged Roman villa. We can see on this tablet a map showing where we are, what we can see, and what the underwater ruins represent. And in addition to that, for the first time, we made it possible to use augmented reality underwater. The app, developed by the European research project Imariculture, recreates the 3D villa on the mobile screen, so the diver can travel through the virtual city while exploring its submerged ruins. QR codes can be fixed to the seafloor to offer tourists an even more immersive experience. But can these virtual reality tools be used by non-divers? Many people can't dive, can't see these underwater relics and can't visit this site. So what we're trying to do is use many different virtual reality tools to bring this information closer to the general public. At the local archaeological museum, we can see how this 3D visit works on dry land. A stereo headset places the user in a realistic virtual world. You can explore the villas in their past splendor or switch to the present and make a virtual dive among the ruins without getting your hair wet. This experience will be available at museums, schools or even at home. You can really walk through the objects that don't exist anymore. You can hear the stories about them. You can meet the characters from their history. And uh, you can give an immersive experience to the public, which is really priceless now, I think. And it's not so expensive anymore. Beyond the popularization of historical heritage, the virtual reality technologies allowed the researchers to develop a professional simulator that teaches proper excavation techniques at an underwater archaeological site. We want not only to educate the general public, but we also want to provide a tool for future archaeologists and museum curators so that they can learn faster and easier in a controlled environment. It would be very difficult to train someone if you had to actually take them to an underwater site, so with this technology training will hopefully be more efficient. <laughs>